So let's just take a look at the deletion process in a splay tree. In this video, we're gonna talk about the bottom up approach. So there are two main steps. First of all, we have to perform the standard BST deletion. And then we have the step two. Here we have to perform the splaying on the parent of the deleted node. So like an example, suppose we have this splay tree. So first of all, let's just delete the element 10. So first step is to find the element 10. So because that is a leaf node, that means we can simply delete that particular node. And then we have to perform splaying on the parent. So here we have to perform splaying on 7. So that means we have to perform 2 right rotation, which is the jig jig rotation. After 2 rotations, 7 will become the root node. And 12 and 13 will be dragged down. So here we have 12 and 13. Also we can perform deletion of the node 12. First step is to find the particular node that is the parent and that is the child. Because the node has only one child, so we're gonna replace the parent with that particular child. So you can see the node 12 is deleted and it is replaced with the child node 13. And because parent 7 is already the root node, so we do not have to perform any splaying. Next we have to delete 16. So here is the node 16. It is the parent and it has two child. So because the node has two child, either we can replace this with the in order predecessor or the in order successor. So here we can replace this node with this in order predecessor. And then we have to perform splaying on this parent node. So that means here we have to perform on left rotation or the jag rotation. So after this rotation you can see and 13 is the new root node. So let's now try to delete the node 6. So the first step is to find that particular node. So 6 is less than 13, less than 7. So you can see the node 6 does not present in our splay tree. So this is one special case. Although the particular node is not present, still we have to perform the splaying. So because 7 was the last element we have accessed while searching for the node 6, so we have to perform splaying on this particular node. That means here we have to perform one right rotation or the jig rotation. 7 will be the root node and 13 will be dragged down. Let's now try to delete the node 7 which is the root node. And it has only one child so we're gonna replace this with the child. And then we're gonna delete that particular node. Because the node does not have any parent so we do not have to perform any splaying. And this will be our final output. Thank you.